Hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I know in the past few videos you guys have been hearing my fire detector indicating that it needs a new battery, but it is the most annoying fire detector. Like, I love that it's going to save my life if my house is burning down, but I'm just making a grilled cheese, so why are you going off? I'm not burning it. I'm just toasting it and you're going off and that's really annoying. Today's look is going to be my first get ready with me. I'm headed out to work and I thought how perfect. Let's kick off summer with a summer look. It's perfect for those hot summer days where you, you're kind of iffy about wearing makeup because you're probably going to sweat it off. Everything on this look is going to be waterproof. Okay? Bleaky all day. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. Oh, that felt so good. Okay, so first we're gonna start with primer. We're gonna start with the Mineral Veil Primer because it does have waterproofing properties. Just very quickly spread that all around. No need to go crazy. We're going slow with this look. Okay, we're gonna follow with the NARS um, Matte Concealers. They're new like soft matte ones. The shade is Ginger. It's my matching shade most of the year so during the summer i'm sure it's gonna be a little bit late as i start tanning a tiny bit late and i'm gonna use this just to cover any of my blemishes because the waterproof foundation that i'm gonna go in with is a little bit more sheer it's the makeup forever the face the face and body that's what it used to be called the water blend and it doesn't have that much coverage it's very lightweight so it's perfect if you don't have any blemishes, but you do need to conceal whatever blemishes you do have, if you have any, before you go in with this. And so this nasty breakout, I think it's been like over two weeks now. I'm so devastated by this, you have no idea. I'm just like, I want my clear skin back. Give it back to me, give it back to me. Nothing like acne to make you humble. And then I'm gonna follow with the water blend foundation from makeup forever because it is waterproof they talk about wearing it alone and being waterproof they talk about putting it as your primer and making your foundation more waterproof i'm just gonna swatch some of that on there wherever this is also supposed to be my winter shape but it actually looks pretty good Okay, so I'm going to follow in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. This shade is light and warm. What's great about this look is that you're going to be able to switch it out with whatever. Everything that I'm using has so many different shades and textures that you don't have to get stuck with the look that I've created. You can customize it for yourself and it's perfect. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge like I normally do, and we're just going to blend that out. And then we're going to set it with the Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier is also supposed to have some waterproofing properties, helps your makeup stay on. So anything that you have that isn't waterproof, as long as it's going to go under the Laura Mercier powder, I think that should be fine. I'm going to follow with my Ultra HD um, press setting powder like I normally do. I don't think it's for waterproofing properties. We'll go over with the Laura Mercier at the end. I just, I'm used to smoothing my face off with this and this powder is absolute life, so we got to. Oh, I tapped too many times. Oh, I tapped too many times. I got a little bit of makeup in my hair. Okay, we're gonna go with brows. I'm using the Cabral. Hi, can't I find you? Someone took it. I remember one of my kids were walking around with it. <laughs> so since my kids stole it, I'm gonna use the Anastasia. All supposed to be waterproof. I usually use the Cabral, which is also waterproof, but Anastasia works just fine. Next, we're gonna clean up the brows, and we're gonna use the same Smashbox um, concealer.
the fall contour if you got something waterproof like let's say uh, a cream stick or anything like that use that i don't have anything like that so i'm just gonna be going in with my powder but like i had mentioned anything that you put your laura mercier powder over will help waterproof it so i'm not too concerned about one little step I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Clay Palette. I'm going to be dipping into this brown shade. I'm going to be putting that in my crease. And then, of course, dragging it down to the lower lash line. There's only going to be two shadows, well, two colors in this scheme just to keep it simple. But like I said, it's so versatile, different stuff. Makeup Forever has a whole bunch of bases. You can do whatever color that your heart desires. You can do as many colors as your heart desires. And it's completely waterproof and won't go anywhere. Right after that, we're going to use this lighter shade. And we're going to throw that all over the lid. You know I can't live without any sparkles, so I'm going to follow in with Stila's um, Liquid Metallic Shadows, what they actually called. Yeah, Liquid Eyeshadows. This one is Kitten Karma, and I'm just going to throw that all over where we put the base. Alright, let's move into blush while we wait for this to dry. I'm going to use the Becca Beach Tint. This one is lychee, lychee, you know that little fruit, L-Y-C-H-E-E, because I can't read, so forgive me. It's a hot pink kind of blush shade, but I kind of just blend it out till it's just like a normal shade for me. I want like a little bit of color, not doing anything crazy. This one's like a, it's a cheek and lip tint, so you could use it as like your lip color if you liked it too. Still not dry, so let's go in with highlight. I'm going to use a base. I'm going to use Alginus. They're luminizing drops as my base first. And then I'm going to go in with a powder. These are a lot like the Cover Effects drops. Very intense. Be careful with them. But they're so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I look cute. Maybe I should do this. A little tribal look. Look at that. Look at that intensity. There is nothing like a liquid highlight. Ugh. So pretty. Follow with the Laura Mercier highlight in Addiction. I'm using a lot of Laura Mercier today, which wasn't intended. That just kind of happened. I love how intense it makes it, but it's not intense. Like it's intense as I'm moving from side to side, but it's not that intense when you're looking straight on, which is what's so perfect about these highlights, that it really is just like a reflective finish. This feels good and dry now. We're going to go in with liner. This is the Hourglass Waterproof Liner. I'm going to draw a wing like I normally do, do whatever liner that suits you. Okay, and now we're going to pop on my fair lashes because they're my favorite, so duh. All right, let's throw some mascara. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the waterproof version. I die for this packaging. I think it is the cutest. These little droplets of water they put on it to indicate it was waterproof. So cute. I'm going to use my little mirror this time. So let's just top the whole look off with a waterproof lip. I'm going to be using Urban Decay's in a Sephora Red. Now, this color is actually called Crimson, but and it's a matte one. It's the Vice Liquid Lipsticks.
And there we have it. This is the final look. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what you would like to see next. I'd love to recreate something just for you. And I will see you at the next one. Take care.